Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Unlucky Ones for Season 3's grand finale minus the bonus episode. My name is Ryan. I play a monk who I guess has mastered the, the way of the open hand uh, named Elias Blackfist. He's ready, to, he's ready to cut up some dragon meat. My name is Matthew, I play Pugs Ponzi, and it's finally time for Pugs Revenge, as he is a College of Eloquence bard, uh, who now got a pretty significant power-up, and it's it's whaling time. Oh, this is Peter, and I'm playing Narl Grinsley, and Narl has seen his parents multiple times, so he just doesn't really know if they're dead. Hi, I'm Michael, the DM. They're all level 18. I don't know if I said that last episode. Now you know. And the rest of you will come and join me on an unlucky journey. you guys <laughs> you were all descending into the there's a lot of descending in this version of the podcast I, that's my new favorite word i guess you should have called it unlucky descent oh you're right yeah, every, every place we getting went lower. to is like descent in the ground stars really likes basements yeah, yeah apparently crypts. it's because they can't be like you can't break into a basement what are you gonna go through a window <laughs> i'll dig I'll one out. In. it's the yeah. safest place is the underground <laughs> So last time we left you guys, you went into the laboratory slash dungeon where you have encountered for the second time, technically, the family of the Nar Narl's family. Is it Grinsley or Grizzly? Grinsley. Grinsley? So yeah, the Grinsley family, who you uh, have laid to rest. Thoroughly dispatched For the of, third time. For the third time, after almost being murked by them a couple times. Um, They're such loving parents. Then you guys rested in your hut in the laboratory, and I believe now you are going to continue after you wake up mm -hmm. in the morning. I don't command you. You tell me what you do. Well. All right. Oh, I feel confident. Did anyone go by the hut while we were taking shifts to watch? I think you talked about it, but I don't think anyone did. I but also, know. it's like opaque and hidden, and also mm -hmm. you guys went by the door, and like That's I'm not going to have anything attack you. You guys weren't playing. <laughs> when you're not you're in dead. the room, I can't attack you. All right, got it. So, so whenever it's their turn to attack, whoever we think is going to get hit should leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Sars is fighting me. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll run to the gas station. Well, I guess then no one's went by here, so. <sighs> what? It's. I think we might need to go find uh, SARS. Yeah, that, that that's kind of the, the whole. Yeah, while well, you're still sleeping, get up. Are you my dad? No. You don't have a dad anymore, so you don't. You don't have a wife. Around. That is hey, so that that is damage. It hey, hasn't him too. healed. Him too. I just did a wife joke. Ooh, you're right. Take double psychic damage for him. <laughs> of what? D four, D eight. Um, I'm thinking D twelve today. D twenty. All right. I said twelve, but twenty works too. A seven. So double that. Fourteen. Good. You, you learn that being mean isn't in Narl's nature. It is. <laughs> you know how much it hurts to have your dad insulted, so when, the second it came out of your mouth that his wife was dead, you immediately It don't hurt no back. more. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, you're relapsing because you just saw him. Anyway. So let's go, let's go kill him. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. And I'll just take off down the stairs. Just drop the hut him. and walk. So I learned. I finally finished my scroll. Turns out. In one scroll, they put a lot of information. Hmm. That's Yo, let me unusual. See that. that must be a really big no. scroll. Nope. It's actually yeah. just a page. It's a really small text. Oh, you must have really good eyes then. Nope, I have a magnifying glass. That works too. <laughs> I've he's learned. Got, he's got a monocle. <laughs> learned some stuff from my parents, and I would like to slide a hand the scroll out of his hand. Ooh, okay. That sounds out like a hand. thing. Uh, yeah, give me like a deck slide a hand with disadvantage. And also, if you succeed, you're going to take damage. 
I didn't succeed. Well, how do you know? I don't know. I did succeed, though. It was an 18. Oh, so... You have reliable talent. Ooh, you do. You want to use it? Yeah, probably. It, so I'm going to get damaged. Okay. Actually, it comes in automatically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's uh, 21. So 21. So that's the amount of damage I think you take. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's good. Um, and yeah, so the Does scroll, the scroll is now explode. In, like the scroll is now in your hand, and you realize the eldritch knowledge hurts you. I don't get it. It's like uh, from uh, Kung Fu Panda, where it's just a reflection on the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I that's am a hurt. panda warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now a panda. Okay, you drop this. Thanks. So uh, we, are we doing this? Or are you going to oh, keep moving no, no, around? I'm already with this at stuff? half health, so I mean, we can. What does that mean? Know. Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm already looking <laughs> like rough. Blood's coming out of his nose. <laughs> I'm already looking You're not rough. looking too good. Yeah, it's like Carl's on the way out. I, I would, I would heal you, but you did that to yourself. So damn. Yeah. Ooh, more psychic damage. <laughs> Please don't kill him. I won't kill him. It's two d20s this time, though. Oh my god. We need him. I I know, but like it's two d20s. It's not going to kill him. <laughs> two twenties. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, eight. Seven. At 18 to both. Oh I, I can't do quick math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Stop. Stop. All right, I'm at go. zero HP. He yeah, just he falls. Walks in the room. Sorry, I'm here. He falls <laughs> over. He's got one health when he walks in. How, got a club foot. How much sweating. HP are you down? Bad. Like, give me a number. I'm looking rough. I can't use numbers, Matt. Uh, I'm looking beat up mentally. Looking like he just ate B-dubs. Looking like I can just come to realize God's And here. we all know that's like the worst thing. <laughs> That's the horse fate. You heal 26. Did you use your ninth? Or, no, uh, 16, oh, I 18, forgot to mention he's undead, so like. <laughs> Healing magic hurts him. <laughs> How much? Uh, 23. He actually died last session. Plot twist. The emotional trauma killed him. <laughs> or the crushing. Or the, <laughs> or, yeah, or the crushing. The crushing weight of reality. All right, boys. Let's go kill us a lizard. I like the sound of that. <clears throat> All right. Onward. So, yeah, you guys continue to descend downwards into the laboratory. No, so, I feel like you are probably actually the best suited to lead because you have dark vision. Yep, because I'm the true one chosen. Sure. I just want him to hit any bombs. So, the first thing you come to when you get through the, uh, the boss arena that I set up. I'm before. looking for traps. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can do that. Give me an investigation roll. Should I give him disadvantage, guys? No. <laughs> Leave poor Peter alone. <laughs> you said this is my he last session as DM. I'm going to make it count. 18. I'm going to make it hurt. An 18. Well, man, I, I hate to tell you, but a level 18 guy rolling an 18 isn't very good. Did you use reliable talent? Yeah. Oh, that oh. just sucks. Shame. But it's a good thing I got it because I roll low all the time. So. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, You're dead. So, We're all dead. <laughs> so, yeah. So in front of you is the first door. And then, obviously, down, you'll continue to look for traps as you go through. But uh, as you're like, yeah, this door is clear, and you open the door, and then you realize magic traps are a thing. Um, and, yeah, so you're going to take me eight damage. As electric volts are, like, strewn through you. No, I have evasive. Does that apply here? There was no save. No save. No save. How much damage? You're right. There is a save to those things. Con roll. And then you can take... Uh, I have damage if... Oh, that's only on dex rolls. Oh, yeah, that's only oh dex never mind. Damage. Con roll! <laughs> Four. So, yeah. Take a... So just continue taking that. <laughs> yeah, so take that damage. And you then you will continue down. Uh, let's get... I'll, I'll take point now, Gnarl. You... I, I got this. I can see everything. It's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see... Hey, I think Gnarl might need glasses. <laughs> see colors. I flash a light in my eye. Why do you twinkle so much? Because I'm... Because his vein I'm is well kept. You don't see me in the corner of the hut every Everything's night. Everything's going dark. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. I don't hold on. What? I don't want to know what you're doing in the corner <laughs> of the hut. <laughs> I'm brushing myself. I've got a lot of fur to take stop. care of. Stop. <laughs> Before we go any farther, stop. <laughs> you can make me an arcana roll. <laughs> uh, ten. Ten. All right. So yeah, you go down like the steps, maybe like twenty feet. Uh, and then you can make me another roll. You can make me a intelligence save. No, <laughs> feeble mind. Sixteen. Sixteen doesn't beat a twenty-one. Cool. So, 
Yeah, and he was right. It's feeble-minded. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Just ruin uh, his mind. <laughs> you are you are paralyzed, and you fall down the stairs, taking. Oh, that's what happened to his dad. Eight, nine damage, and <laughs> Gnarl takes the damage for you. <laughs> after he says that, I'm joking. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what's joking. So, yeah, but uh, you'll watch <laughs> as Pugs if it freezes up and, like, drops and slams his head into the stairs on the way ding, down. Ding, 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 We're doing great, guys. And, and then you'll get down turn. to the final door. <laughs> yeah. It opens up okay. just fine. Well, there's a little landing, and it's a nice, ornate golden door. Okay. It's got runic etchings through it. We so should... you know it's magical. You just don't know yeah. how. We okay. should burn it. No, no, no. Burn Give me it. a second. Dispel. I could do that, or I could find out exactly what's impacting it, and then better target the dispel. Okay. So give me give me like ten minutes, and sure. I'll ritual cast identify on the door. So I'm gonna sit on the steps and be like, "We're <laughs> fucked." <laughs> do you think we could like cut a small hole in that door when he's done with his thing and smoke it out? So uh, with identify, I'll know the spell, everything that's I, that's. A lot of smoke in there. You know, I can't breathe. Sorry. <laughs> You want a you want a hot box SARS? Yeah, <laughs> he's got to breathe there somehow. Go on. Why is, what's he's chanting over there anyway? You know? <laughs> I don't like that the DM is uncontrollably <laughs> laughing over there. <laughs> Sorry, go on. So what do I identify? Oh yeah, so it's evocation. <laughs> uh, I think that's all you get out of identify. No, identify right? is the spe- you're thinking detect where it's Ooh. the class. Identify is specific. Oh, hey, it's ritual, specific. So it's, it's fireball oh. at ninth level. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Dispel. Dispel. I can do Dispel. that. Use the minimum level. And yeah, I'll, I'll use third, and then no one can help me. So <laughs> I'm gonna stand over there. I want to stand will, right next to him. I will attempt to spell. I will use lucky. Mm-hmm. Go on. 21. 21. Excellent. Yeah, so with a wave of your hand and a flash of whatever color you think is the best fit, otherwise it's going to be rainbow. Purple. Uh, purple? All right. And now, see, you're playing to my heart. Gnarl, you can hear heal a D8. You can hear a D8. <laughs> you can hear a D8 because you're fucking... It keeps rolling in my head. One. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoa, it's one more point. Uh, subtract seven. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, with a wave of purple, you can dispel the actual like door. Not the door. I'm sorry. The whole door is just. <laughs> it was an all evolution. My head. Is, I'm. I'm on something tonight. Apparently, it's that uh, sprite. Yeah, it's sprite. It's hopped up off psychic. Uh, I'm hopped up on that sprite. But yeah, so you can dispel the magic on the door. Uh, and then you, as you probably try to like pull the door, uh, you realize it is indeed locked because I wanted Gnarl to have to pick the lock. With the, uh, so no, it's, no, it's not locked. But we're it's, gonna not lock gonna, it. it's not going to explode anymore, but... A lie know, hold on, it. hold on, hold on. It could be mechanically so I'm gonna, rigged. He's sitting on the steps. I'm going to open the door, like reach in and turn the latch and shut <laughs> yeah, 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 so it. Is it like internal latch? Gnarl, we need, we need your help. Finally, my skills come into use. <laughs> I'm going to check it for mechanical traps. Ooh, that's a good one. Investigate. Should I give him disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Why? just comes out swinging. Yeah, 20, 27. <laughs> 27. So, yeah, there's a poison trap on it. Oh, you missed this here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it shoots off on the wall, but not on him. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you, you fire off the mechanical trap. Now you can roll a sleight of hand. There's another one in here now. I know it. <laughs> Every one of these is trapped. He's too smart for us. All right. Uh, it's on hand. Yeah. That's what it uh, is. Uh, really high roll. I can't see. All right. Uh, that is a 26. Ooh. Okay. So, like, yeah, you can easily, like, you know, jimmy the lock. And- ah, this is one of the master classes. Or you just got to slam it with another lock. Hold on. And then, and then you realize, <laughs> you say that, and, like, all of you can see that it's not, not a master class lock. It's actually just a button that you press that opens the door. <laughs> I would yeah. know. I Don't it. look over here. Trade secret. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the button. <laughs> the, door. <laughs> the door swings open. Uh, so Here, souvenir. Give him the lock. That wasn't a lock. I pulled out my pants. No. <laughs> Good job, Gnarl. I'm going to pat him on the back lightly. Give him a D8 of health. <laughs> four. Good job. Hey. Add four to that. Eight. Hey. Ooh, it's your first time your friends complimented you. Everything seems better now. Now, if you were just taller. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Take a D8. We're never getting to source. <laughs> we're just going to bully Gnarl and watch his health fluctuate. I'm getting better at math, guys. <laughs> we're actually just helping you, Peter. 
I can pass my test. It's actually a math quiz. Yeah. Just just get him under a hundred, and I can put him out of his misery. He already he is just oh. always <laughs> always in misery. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. So the door swings open, um, and in there is what I like to call the. A, a, a very large room. That's what I like to call it. Another one. A very large room adorned with gold with a pyramid that sits in the middle, kind of stacked up with a flat base at the top. Sitting at the top is none other than big boy, big friend, Sars. Um, and surrounding him are two... Nope, two ogres. Yep, two ogres who are currently just at his side as he kind of like looks down on you. The room stretches up about a couple like hundred feet. Are there any pillars holding the ceiling? Do you up? want a pillar? Is that what are you asking? Do you want? I the just want to know. I what just feel the, like structurally. Really structurally, <laughs> is there any pillars? He's going to carve out a little cave for himself. Yeah, and like, a pillar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Well, oh, there's okay. thing called magic, but like I'll accept. There's a pillar. <laughs> All right. On the left hand side, an a rafter, <laughs> and it goes straight across. <laughs> the room is to see the grand monument in the center <laughs> this guy's got an ego on him doesn't he how are we gonna do this oh, how are we gonna do this whale bomb I'd, I'd really rather not just go full in for the whale bomb here you want to like approach him all cool and like call him out or you think yeah. we should sneak up on him no i think we should call him out i agree 100%. you should sneak up on him gnarl i'm out we're gonna play it up like he killed gnarl and then i'm gonna attempt to roll away <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you're They're going a to Dark Souls character, huh? <laughs> uh, there's you're a going pillar to, there. You're going to Dark Souls heavy roll away. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no, it's depending on how well you roll, how would you roll away. Oh, out of the tray is how well you rolled. Oh, so, more like Dark Souls can't roll. That was a 13 and 15. 15 plus 17 is 20. 30. 33, 34? So better than the Dark Souls, Dark Souls character and more efficient as if you were wearing no armor in Dark Souls, you roll. So that like very fast iframe. I can does solo that, him. He does that Dark Souls dagger dash. Yeah, yeah. With the wood uh, the wood ring. So he's doing like backflips on yeah, the way yeah. up. <laughs> I have, like, but still while invisible. I just have, and have like the loincloth and the pothead helmet. <laughs> And I'm yeah, exactly. Solo. He's a pothead. He's trying to smoke all out the. I'm really right glad here. you didn't try to smoke out the room. This is a whole cavern. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here all day, boys. We'll be here for like three days. <laughs> yeah. Does it feel? You guys smell smoked meats? <laughs> oh, it's me. All right, Gnarl's doing that. Yeah, Gnarl's <coughs> backflipping his way up the. Your right, right, you seem like the performer here, so maybe you go ahead and lead. Yeah. And talk about how he killed Gnarl. Well, <clears throat> I'll kind of walk up and be like, "We found you again." All right, I was hoping more distressed, but all right, and I'll walk up behind him. <laughs> okay, so Sars will look down uh, at you and say, welcome back to the two of you. Yeah. Looks around see, suspiciously. Not only did you take the love of my life away, but you took my best friend my away too. also. <laughs> <laughs> and you took his parents from him, so we've got a long line of vengeful seeking people with your name at the top of their list so get down from your tie chair thing and face us like the man you claim to be all right i'm gonna give you advantage get off your high chair get, 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 <laughs> i'm gonna give you advantage because like i feel like it's funnier that <laughs> you call them a baby <laughs> yeah. is he claiming to be a dragon and you call him a man so roll an intimidation you fucking botch that come on lucky, lucky. that We'll use we'll use lucky for that. This is your moment. Four and a five. Yeah, this is your big moment. That's Bart. my kind of roll. Save that for me. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. So, Sars will stand up and begin descending down the stairs slowly. And as he does, he'll go. Well, given that there's only two of you, and there are three of me. I feel like this is going to be easy as the ogres begin barreling uh, down towards you guys. Uh, everyone can roll, start rolling me initiative. Unless so I'm going to turn to, Nar uh, to Rabbit and go, what do you mean three of me? There's only one of him. There's three guys, but... I now know. I get two turns because I'm 18. 
Because you're 18. Yeah, I get the uh, froze call, but I get two turns the first each first combat. My uh, yeah. my head is not in the right place. You said you're 18. I was like, yeah, you're 18 years old. Oh, so you yeah. get two turns. I'm 18 now. The I younger can, you are, you, <laughs> the more turns, turns you get. Yeah. So my first first turn is an 18. And Your initiative is always the same. You should take two turns. No, I rolled separately. Like the second one's rolling at a minus yeah, 10. Yeah, you, always, you always roll. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. One then initiative the and then, yeah. So just take the higher one. So it's uh, 18. I got 18. an 11. You got an 11, 18, and a 23? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 18 and an 8. All right, Elias, you get to go first. The two ogres are barreling down towards you. SARS is behind them. Uh, Narl is climbing the side of the pyramid quietly. Or this is I should my say back flipping the side of the pyramid quietly. All right. You've got tumbly scale, boy? Sure. All right. I'm going to hit each of the ogres. Okay. I'm going to hit the first one twice and the second one once. I feel like that first one really needs it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll. Well, the second one I'm missing. Uh, so, it's going to be like a 15. Or a 16 and a tw- like a 30. <laughs> so, yes, on the 30. Let me uh, check that first one. Okay. Yeah, 16 and uh, 29. Okay, so they b- they'll both hit. Okay. And then the second guy, I, I got a one, so I missed. Uh, let's see. Oh, my fists got stronger overnight. <laughs> um, 11 on the first, or 11 first, and then... Um, 11 again. So 22 on the first guy. Okay. So, yeah, the first ogre that kind of, like, I assume, did you run up to meet them? Or you yeah, yeah, I would have, like, sprinted up and just, like, karate kicked the first one, and then I guess just whiffed the second one. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yes, you absolutely can, like, slap up the first one. I was going faster than I uh, thought I could. All that leveling <laughs> up is really, uh, yeah, yeah. really helpful. Um, and then the second one you missed with a one? Yeah, yeah, I got to I got a, a big fail. Okay, so with the second one, you're going to be propelled prone back down the stairs. To <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. so basically he's gonna like the, as you go to the, you karate kick the first one, and as you're like flying to go hit the next one, he like slaps you almost like a bug out of the air and like drops you back down the stairs. All right, I'm gonna do this just because never in my career of playing a monk have I got to do this. Okay, so on the one that I hit, mm-hmm. I'm going to spend the key to start. Uh, quivering palm Ooh. vibrations in him. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to fall down the stairs and get up because I have a later. bunch of movement. So what does a quivering palm do? So quivering palm is terrifying. Uh, I can... So whenever you hit with an unarmed strike, you can spend three key points to start harmless vibrations in the target, which lasts for 18 days. As an action, you okay. can end the vibrations, and the creature must make a con save. If it fails, it dies. If it succeeds, <laughs> it takes 10 d10s. Whew. All right, let's go. He's not, getting, <laughs> he's not getting away this time. So I'm just like, I just learned this one. And then I fall down the stairs, and then I'll get up. You should is. use that on SARS. Well, I want to test it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is, he's, he's experimenting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Elias so, just got these powers. So, yeah, Elias is knocked down after you. Uh, yeah, and then I'll stand. I mean, I have a lot of movement. So, yeah. so yeah, you can stand. I'll be like, all right, I got to warm up, boys. Forgot to stretch. <laughs> that'll, that'll be their turn next. So, <laughs> Ogre 2, because Ogre 1 will run towards Elias, and we'll get to him in a second. Ogre 2 will go towards Pugs. And with a 16... Yep. Does he hit you? Yep. He does? Okay. With a 16, he materializes, because it's in his hands, uh, materializes a large, like, dark black flame sword. Oh. 15 damage. Okay. Uh, as it hits you, and then you have to make me a con roll. Or explode into a billion pieces. It's I, a dark I, matter sword. Uh, it's actually a, it's actually a quivering problem it's a sword. Ooh, not good. Um, Dead. <laughs> How many Seven. Lucky? Seven. So another 15 damage. From the fire? Yeah, so as you're hit, it's almost like your brain goes into like massive overdrive. And stress, uh, ending any concentration on spells, but more importantly, hurting you. Uh, <laughs> See his eye like flash a little red for a second. And you're like, "What was that?" And then, like, <laughs> wipe it off. Uh, ogre, ogre one. Two ogre it. Nar will take psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, fifteen. Does a fifteen hit you, no. Elias? No. All right. So the second ogre, or the first 
ogre number one comes down and it goes to like basically ground pound you. Yeah, so I'll just kind of like back handspring <laughs> and like flip out of the way like so, Liu Kang. So you're you're back. You'll you'll be back down at the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with ogre one. Yeah, of course. Um, I should give him a name, shouldn't I? Uh, Sars. Um, Can okay. it be the couple from that one town? <laughs> yeah, it could be the couple from like that one. Like the wife town. is beating up him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So the wife is beating up pugs, and the <laughs> husband is. He's mad at me for telling his wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the headcanon. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Sars's turn. Um, actually, he's going to force. Uh, I make a wisdom save. Oh, is he casting a spell? Yeah, feeble mind. I would like to cast counter spell. Okay, do it. What level? Third. Mm-hmm. Mm. Does he have to roll? Yeah. 17. Some good mileage. Yeah, no, so yeah. So you watch as he uh, raises what looks to be a, a, a uh, like a triangle gem in his hand. And when he does, you, uh, you, how does your counter spell look? So I think <laughs> because I'm a rabbit and just for like sake of like funny, I'll conjure a like ethereal carrot and throw it at him. <laughs> and just break the spell up. So yeah, so you see as like a wave comes towards you, but the like carrot cuts it in half, like you're <laughs> like you're parrying a fucking <laughs> like a wave. <laughs> that one little video where the guy parries the nuke. In, oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Or whatever, one. yeah. <laughs> and it just like flows yeah. by. <laughs> that's good. Uh, so yeah, so yes, you can <laughs> you can absolutely stop that. Good job. Um, good counter spell. Yeah. SARS will then start walking back up the stairs. Uh, <laughs> he said, nope. Uh, <laughs> he's oops. like, nope, that's it. Uh, Pugs, your turn. All right. Wait. I'll be like, all right. Did, we got this. Where's he go? He goes last. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I will start. So how close together are the ogres? I know I've got one on uh, me. You're like 30 feet apart now. Okay. Because the one is in front of you. You're about halfway up the mm-hmm. pyramid. And then the other one is all the way down with Elias currently. Okay. So let's kick this party up, you know, nice and strong. And this ogre that's in front of me that hit me, mm-hmm. I'm going to conjure up, like, just a ball of, like... Hair. <laughs> I'm going to throw a <laughs> hairball <laughs> <of mine>. Why? <laughs> I hope you didn't want any tension in this final fight. Oh, I should have said that pretty early. I, I definitely don't want tension. Let's so go. I'm just going to conjure up like some uh, purplish pink energy and thrust it at the ogre and cast Disintegrate on him. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I need him to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 13. That is a fail. Ooh. So he will take... It's like a lot of D12s. It's a lot of D6s. 77 damage. <laughs> All right. Force damage. So. What the, did you hit him that with? That was the wife. Right? You oh, killed okay. the wife. So, yes, yeah, so this female with the uh, the black flame blade uh, that just hit you, you launch your spell and watch as in a puff. What, what is it? A hairball? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's just a like ball of force and just, yeah, you just, just hollow purple that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking marble at her. Uh, Hairball and funny. <laughs> she's dead uh, and Just gone, puffed into dust. Yeah, and nothing. Yeah, yeah. turned into actual ash and dust. Uh, Perfect. You're fighting so the husband. I don't will, worry. I have a plan. Then for my for my <laughs> bonus, say, someone's action. about to die of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, for my bonus action, I would like to just kind of like I want to inspire Gnarl without like Sars knowing. So okay. I'm going to kind of be like... Your time now. is at an end, so <laughs> yeah. Hit him with some generic hero dialogue. <laughs> like, well, I was going to be like, and that was for Gnarl, and you're next, Sars. Okay, yeah, I accept that. You're inspired, Gnarl. Oh, they're being nice to me. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, you can you heal You killed a much better duelist than the dad that he had. <laughs> uh, my you inspiration can heal is now a D12. <laughs> Your inspiration is a D12? Nice. Mm-hmm. Sars is about to do some crazy shit. Or if if Mike, Michael gave us this this level, I feel like Sars is about to turn into a dragon. Dun, dun, dun. He's just gonna like <laughs> turn into a big dragon and shatter through the roof. Hmm? A chromatic sure. dragon from fourth edition. It's a D twelve. Oh boy. Carl, <laughs> you're tired. Mm. They're, they're really trusting me on this one. So how far away am I from SARS? Um, you could be whatever distances puts you in attack range. Um, all right. So can I be like directly above him? Yeah. Okay. And then 
question on the C scale bomb. The C scale bomb? Yeah, it was the bomb what from the first boat step? that we yeah. got. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Now, how do I'm looking back to remember how to activate it? All I saw is he touched it and it blew up. Yep. Is that accurate? Is that accurate? Mm, you're missing a slight part. <laughs> is there an incantation on either? No incantation, but something. Something is there. Something was there when he touched it. I would like to use, I don't know. Um, Are you just trying to remember? Try to remember, yeah. Do history a history roll. Or, yeah. History. Your history. Mm. Mm. I don't have a history. You can use inspiration on that. I will use that inspiration. I respect that you didn't go for the much easier Assassin's Creed attack. Yeah. I mean, I still could. But it's a nine. Nine? No. No, wait, nine plus two. Sorry. That's a 11. No. Damn. Can you uh, keep the inspiration? That's cool. That's cool. All right. I like how you crossed your arms. You're like, he was you like, keep checkmate. <laughs> SARS. Does this count as a magic tool? It does. Eat it. I now have, I'm the thief class. Does my magic tools archetype thing help me? I have no, uh, I ignore all class feats, types, requirements, stuff. Um, I don't think it's any of those things. You can use it. You just have to know how to use it. That's fair. I feel like that is a fair assertion. All, right, all right, well, another time. Fuck this guy. So I'm going to jump off and, like, Assassin's Creed him. <laughs> oh, okay. But instead of the eagle cry, it's just the whinny of Spackle. <laughs> 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 just echo throughout the chamber. <laughs> so I would like to do the drop. Yes, you can get the literal accidental drop. Oh boy! I don't think it's called that in this game. No, nope. yeah. it's not. But he's Surprise. got the drop. The... Surprise normally nets you a whole round so too. He's bigger than I am, right? Yeah, I, so you are cool. small. He's going to do more, get more damaged. Twenty three to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right, I'm like, all right, yeah, it's coming as I slash down on his back from behind, and yeah. uh, that will be for unless there's something before that. Nope, you're good. Right, Keep good. going. Do damage. I feel like Let I'm the fireworks do, rain, as they say. I'm not going to do anything to him. I feel it. Um, Did you get sneak attack for that? Right, you had this coming as I slash down for 42 damage. For 42? Hopefully. Okay, so yeah. So you bring down the knife, not the hammer, and you can, like, you tear straight through his back. Um, that you do realize as you, like, feel triumphant for a minute that you remember that dragon scales are extremely hard to pierce. Damn. But you do cut through a little bit. I'm going to turn to Pugs, hmm. who has just disintegrated a woman, <laughs> and go... Don't <sighs> take that out of context. I should have. And I'm going to take out the knife. I should have given it. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to put it back in my pocket. I, I can I can <laughs> fix that. I'll just... Uh, okay. I'll be like, dang it. So now he just looks at you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Sar's turn. On my other turn. Oh yeah, you get a second turn. Go on. I don't know how this works, but and I smash the rock as hard as I can in the ground. It just breaks. Okay, yeah. No, uh, do me a favor, and you're going to roll me a deck save. Oh, boy. Throw With disadvantage because you're punching it. Well, I the threw ground. it. I like punching it in the ground. Okay, yeah. well, okay. You're still at ground zero, boss. Yeah. Oh, hmm. That's a one. Well, I have a 10, <laughs> the lowest. So 10 plus... That's not, that's not how reliable talent works. It, it doesn't apply to saves. It's just skills. Oh, well... That'd be nuts, though. Yeah. Like was 11. Saved. Reliable savior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 11. 11? You have inspiration. Oh, plus, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that one. 12. 12. I don't need it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. You See say if I give it back fail. to you. <laughs> 27. So, <laughs> while it is not the exact way, you realize that the way to ignite it is uh, with fire, and when you hit it to the ground, it sparks. And that's what causes the ignition. And then you realize you can't get away from punching explosives to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 27 damage. As it detonates uh, from uh, below ground zero, you guys can see... The fire's going to wave over ahead. <laughs> yeah, so basically it blows up above. You see SARS is able to dive out of the way just in time. Um, just in time. Just in time. And you watch as your attack. friend is engulfed in an actual fireball. My opportunity attack? You don't know. <laughs> you don't get opportunity for force movement. I got blown away by a bomb. I'm a hold of here. <laughs> All right. You no, know, no, no. You can take your opportunity attack. I have a, a funny thing if you hit him. How's that sound? <laughs> okay. You push him out of the way. Oh, my God. 
A one. Uh, Actually, your body shielded him. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not going to make you take any more damage, but... No, he took none, right? Yeah, he took zero. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to give him back his health a lot. That's a nine. <laughs> so, you blow up yourself and not SARS, and you're very aware of this at this exact point. I am truly the only You, like, one. turned around and slammed the bomb into the ground, and then your body just <laughs> covered him. You, you did what uh, soldiers do. You dove over the grenade to save your allies, <laughs> Maybe basically. I'll get a serum and become a super soldier. <laughs> Uh, yeah, SARS will look at you with absolute disdain that you tried to bomb him with his own tactics. Uh, top of the turn, Elias. All right. I'm going to... I distracted him. So I'm going to, like... Ogre Man has just swung at me. His wife disintegrated. Does he react to that? I don't or? think he saw it, because he's down below, and they're got all it, got it. there. I'm going to, like, tap him and be like, over there. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll turn, and I guess... If, We'll pretend it happens like just a little bit before all yeah. the explosion. So basically, he turns, watches his wife turn into dust, and then an explosion <laughs> races well, out of Before home. the explosion, while he's looking at his wife, I'd like to just snap my fingers and detonate his heart. <laughs> What's he got to do? He's got to make, make a con save. Con save? Seven? <laughs> uh, he's be trying to beat a 16. 16? Okay, so seven, eight, nine. So nine total. So yeah, my he wife. turns, sees his wife, and then his heart just <laughs> explodes. <laughs> And then he like collapses and something else explodes. <laughs> Basically, the di- guy died in literal anarchy. Yeah, <laughs> confused as hell. So yeah, uh, Elias will kind of like point him to to Pugs, and when he turns, he'll snap. And then Pugs, you'll just see the blood like <laughs> out of his eyes and nose, and then he just falls over. Pug, Pugs like, just claps. I'll be like, all right, and then I'll like you were a little bit away from me, not real mm-hmm. far, so I could walk to you because movement. I'm going to like hold a, a fist bump out and be like, let's go fuck him up. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to run up the stairs to fuck him up. Okay, so yeah. So with um, how far can you move? You said you have more like... 60 feet, depending on how far uh, Pugs was for me. Well, Pugs was about 30, so 60, so 30, then another 60 up, right? Is that, or... Um, no, no, it's 60 total. So I mean, oh, I could, if I was 30... So Pugs, you'll get to the, you and him will get to the top together. Yeah, I'll wait okay. for him too. I mean... Okay. I used my action to detonate the dude's heart. So Dramat- yeah. dramatic walk yeah, up. Yeah. So we'll just slowly walk up. <laughs> just pass the sizzling gnarl. <laughs> I would like, yeah. I, like, not... I want him to kind of like, when Sars stands up and looks down the stairs to see what's happening, mm. I want him to see blood pouring out of one dude, dust from the other dude, and then just me and uh, Pugs like fist bumping on the way up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> That's intimidating as hell. With the explosion blowing your hair as you're walking up. I attack the not yeah, yeah. anything. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Going for uh, the, the Naruto Sasuke yeah. vibe here. <laughs> Pugs, what are you... Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's their turn first. Well, I should say Sars' turn. So as uh, all that happens, Sars will look at Narl and, uh, like I said before, with disdain, he'll... I feel like snapping his fingers is only right after listening to someone snap his fingers. Uh, so, yes, uh, Sarge will snap his fingers and look at Narl and be like, I hope you like trauma. And then will like casually stroll back to his uh, chair. Uh, do me a favor and make an intelligence save, Narl. All right, all right, all right. Is hear he, me, hear is me he out. casting hear me a spell? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Uh-huh. I know <laughs> it seems like we've been bullying gnarl this whole season yeah uh-huh. but really, really all the horrific visions we've given him and bullying and insults has built to this moment where i argue he should have advantage all right get an advantage <laughs> is, is he casting a spell yes can i attempt to counter spell uh you could you can do that yes i would like to cast a fourth level counter spell good you'll have to roll still okay and if not 15 15 no oh close Secret right. is one off. Anyway, what were you saying? If not, uh, I, well, if not, my reasoning <laughs> still the same. Wow, I interpreted that as entirely different. <laughs> We've been building you up to this moment. Two sevens, lucky uh, sevens, plus, baby. Plus uh, eight. So. You have inspiration. What? Um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to use it. It's always a one. Eleven. <laughs> so that's thirty-three. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he tries to show you, I feel like, like I've seen way worse. From I've been through pugs, a lot. Pugs, so yeah, he shows you like the basics of 
like horror 101 when you try to scare somebody but your friends have shown you actual like cartoon renditions of your father he shows you he shows my you my parents tried to assimilate me he shows you the actual memory from when your dad died and then you're like no 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 he's missing the club foot <laughs> you, you deconstruct that yeah here I'll take away another d6 for that that's funny uh so four damage total as uh you uh you you still take a little bit because it hurts a little, but it's but they've they've well cleared the many D sixes. Like, you can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> you can't hurt me anymore. Then you hear a sad sound, a sound of very small boat violin uh, of a pony as it collapses. Spackle. And then in my head or on the in real life in your head. Okay. Um, and then the, that's where the damage comes from. Uh, Speckle stronger than that. Hers <laughs> will sit there. <laughs> on the throne and say, I don't think so. Bugs, your turn. So before, <clears throat> like, well, still going on in his turn, because he succeeded with inspiration, can that activate my infectious inspiration ability? And kind of like, we're like, I look to, over to Elias, and I'm like, all of our therapy was worth it. And that passes the inspiration on to him. Yeah, sure, we can do that. It's fun. <laughs> so I lose your inspiration die? Well, it loses anyway, because you succeeded. Oh, yeah. But. Yeah. but when it succeeds, I can give it to someone else without using a use. All right, so now it's my turn. Yeah. So, Go ahead, Bugs. So, Gnarl's up there. Um, can I Why cast... Not? Let me make sure I can. I'm ready for Gnarl's mental breakdown oh, next how turn. Far am I up, how far am I from Gnarl? Uh, I think... I, so, it'd be... Because it took 60 feet to go all the way up, so you're 30 feet from it. Okay, cool. So, I'd like, to, I'd like to go over to Gnarl and, you know, help him up. And what blade are you using? Regular daglers. Okay, so daglers, I want to... Daglers. I want to take... as my For my bonus action... Touch one of his daggers and cast holy weapon on it. Oh, okay. That burns. That's <laughs> so that's cool. Your dagger is now considered magical, and every time you hit with it, it does an additional two d eights of radiant damage. Just constant smite. Yeah. Remember, I gotta remember the fifth of November. The fifth of November. <laughs> now, if only I had another dragon type dagger, that'd be really good. <laughs> and, and then what are you talking about? <laughs> for my action. I'm going to kind of like look over to uh, to SARS and kind of give like one of those like, you know, punch your hand kind of things. And when I do that, I want to cast Thunderclap. Okay. Yeah. Deep forest emergence. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, range is five feet. So I'll just like turn to SARS and be like, hey. And then if he's within range. I think he's a little farther back there. So oh, well, yeah, he's a little bit. So then, leap, never mind. Forget leap, that part. Leap. Hit, him, hit him with like a fire bolt or something. Uh, hit him with a vicious mockery. Yeah. Hit him I with a whale. Of his ass. Ass. He may have failed to blow you up, but now that little fella is going to mess you up, you dumb, dumb doo-doo head. Yeah, you stink too. Mockery. You were so close to doing a good rhyme <laughs> and you stopped. <laughs> so like, what, what do I do normally? <laughs> Make a wisdom save. Okay, cool. I'm gonna walk. Intelligence saving throw. As I'm walking up, I'm gonna be like, "22." We gotta work uh, on our shit talking. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> we all need to improve shit talking. That is the next order of business <laughs> after defeating SARS. Like, we gotta, we gotta work on our, on our zingers. You're gonna yeah. get your just, just desserts. <laughs> and he stuttered too. <laughs> he said yeah, that. Yeah. Just, just, just desserts. You're gonna get your juice. <laughs> okay. Goblin juice. juice. <laughs> Poisonous to dragons. Uh, so uh, he succeeded. Yeah, I, so he yeah, doesn't yeah, take so any damage. So yeah, he is like, doo-doo heads are old school. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, He's about it, though. He knows He knows what a doo-doo head is. Uh, Narl, your turn. <laughs> Looks at the new new holy knife that's the radiating doo-doo. holy doo-doo energy. <laughs> holy uh, doo-doo energy. <laughs> all right, time to do this. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go up to stars, and are you next to him now or no? He's at the top. He just yeah. made it up the staircase to well, the. I'm top. probably next to him then. I'm like, all right, and <laughs> stab him in the gut. Oh no, yeah, plain simple. I like it. Roll. He's a battle master, so don't miss. Ten plus is a sixteen. Nope. Mm. So you connect, uh, but again, scales are tough. Dink right off. He's not a battle master. I lied. He's just scaly just, boy. Yeah, he's just heavy armor. Yeah, no, I just want to scare you. <sighs> <laughs> they said nothing. I think that was user <laughs> error. You say as like Sars is now glaring down at you as he sits there on his throne, unmoving well, as you, you try to stab him. Think on that, and I'll think on how to stab you again. And I'm gonna like roll away. <laughs> we'll escape. So you're gonna take that bonus 
disengage? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Oh, okay. Got so, it. yeah, so Nora runs up, stabs, and rolls back. Like a true Dark Souls fighter. <laughs> I'll be back. So, I was like, swings a big telegraphed attack, and he just rolls through it. Like, <laughs> I like to think that he didn't swing because it's more like Elden Ring, so he's like waiting. Yeah, he's, he's charging. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure you out like soon. Margaret. He's going to tell us how cool we are in a minute. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll roll over to Monk Boy and be like, I need that dagger. <laughs> And then it'll be Elias' yeah, dagger. So I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to draw the dagger uh, and I'm going to sprint forward. and uh, Or rather, I'm going to walk forward, I guess, because I don't really need to sprint. I don't There's care. No <laughs> There's uh, no rush. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to be like, time for round three, buddy. <laughs> and I'm going to hit him with everything I got. Do it. We need that like, battle What's your montage. Best D20? What'd you say? The battle montage song, like, dun, 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 dun. Maybe. Well, not doing hot all around. So Take 11. Nope. Or I could, uh, well, I could have used inspiration. Uh, 21. Yep. Uh, 22, 22. Yep, yep. Or no, hold on. You have bardic uh, inspiration. Yeah, 22, 22. Uh, so the other one will go from an 11 to a 18. Nope. Okay. I can keep it though, right? Mm-hmm. Three for four is not bad. Three for four. Ain't bad. All right, first hit with the knife. Yes. Six and make a con save. Six and con save. 21. Okay, second attack with the knife. I did three, right? So I'm just going to roll yeah. them together. Seven and five, or seven and ten. 20 total, and then make another con save. 20 total. 24. All right, make another con save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Eleven. He's stunned. <laughs> so yeah, so you run up and you are going to. So basically, as Elias moves forward, he's gonna like come face to face with Sars and be like, "Time for round three and see if Sars responds. Uh, well, I feel like if you're just like running at him, stabbing him, he probably no, no, he'll walk up and like face to face him. For oh, a second. Uh, I think at that point he'll like stand on the body of Spackle and then like because he's coming to confront you, right? So. Yeah. Like, I don't think he'll say anything, but you will definitely barrage So, like, him. when I see him twitch, like, he's going to move, I basically want to speed boost and then just, like, go low, slice his calf, bring it backwards, stab him in, like, the lower back, and then when he inevitably, like, turns to swing at me, I'd like to duck and just drag up under his, like, armpit. Okay. And then kind of step back. And then I threw a fourth attack and missed, so I guess I, like, stepped back and, like, swung, but he just ducked. <laughs> So, yeah, so you, like, cut him up in frame, and, like, you watch as, like, his face hurts as he, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, and then on the third one, well, on all of them I imparted the stun, but on the last one it took, so... <laughs> so that was drag across, like, the upper chest, you actually, yeah. like, decked him in the <laughs> jaw. Yeah, well, <laughs> like... it's key disruption, so he just, like, freezes. So, yeah, he is held in place, which means it's his turn, and I think that means it passes to uh, Pugs. <laughs> so seeing that he, like, freezes up, I'm like, oh, this is my chance. And I'm going to kind of mosey up that same energy that disintegrated the ogre yeah. and throw it right at SARS. So okay. it's seventh level disintegrate. Okay, cool. And he's a stun, so he automatically fails. All right, let's go. It's a deck save? It is a yeah, deck save. he just instant fails. It's loading. 86. 86? All right. Force damage. So, yeah, you hurl another... Uh, what color was it? This would have been, like, that same, like... Well, actually, Air. I'm getting mad, so it's probably just turning, like, purpley red. Okay. It's like I'm getting angrier and... So, yeah, you, know, you hurl this, like, purple infused <laughs> with, like, red, almost, like, like streaks of color at him. Hits him square in the chest because he can't move. <laughs> and then you, like, watch as, like... Bits of his skin just to see. Yeah, you see his, like, uh, scales start, like, ripping off and, like, popping uh, to the side. Almost like if you were to, like, pop fingernails off of someone. <laughs> um, uh, but he can't respond or do anything because he's currently yeah. having problem with his key. And for my bonus action, I would like to use my new ability whenever it loads called Unsettling Words. So I'm going to... <clears throat> As uh, as the disintegrate goes off and his skin's just uh, like you know flaking away, I'm like this. Let's hope that that jogs your memory, you no good fake king. And so what this will do is, so I roll this my inspiration die. Okay. When I got an eleven. Good. So on his next saving throw, I take eleven away. You take eleven away. Oof. Ooh, very good. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So yeah. So 
He still can't respond, so it's uh, <laughs> Narl's turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow that, sir? How does that work? Yeah, I can hand him it. Yeah. As long as you can hand it back. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really think anything's like, wrong with that. Right. I'm like, this is a nice blade. I'm just going to walk up to him like... You just put the holy glowing yeah, one like, away. <laughs> like, this one's not. <laughs> <laughs> Throws it <upstairs. laughs> Throws it. <laughs> like, all right. And I kind of like look at it, you know, and I go, well, you don't need to see what happens next. I'm going to take the blade and cut his eyes. Okay. Yeah, 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 go so, ahead. So he's so, stunned, uh, so I have So an attack advantage. with advantage. Oh, that is an... Well, what's the... Is it just a plus six normal normal dagger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... 29. Yeah. That hits. 29 hit. And then uh, that was... I'm going to do the Fury of the Small. Okay. So it's a plus to my proficiency bonus, and nine, nine D6 is... Is it normal D6? Huh? Then, um, I think I told somebody what the damage was. The dagger is a D4. Oh, is this one D4? Yeah, okay. unless... I mean, for me, it's a D10 because it's a monk weapon, but normally it's a D4. 35. 35 plus 6. You don't 41. Per, do you add really? proficiency the damage? Oh, okay, gotcha. 41. 41 total? Yep. You don't need to see what happens next. Slice it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you cut through his eyes, blinding this poor fella... Uh, who is also stunned and also has like a hole in his chest now, effectively, uh, <laughs> leading it back to Elias's turn, Here right? You. Thanks. <laughs> How's he looking? Bad, I assume. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's in pain. I think I described it well enough with flaking body parts and is, missing eyes and stuff. He looked close to death, or? Uh, that will be up to you in a minute, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to take the dagger and I'm going to stab him three times. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so the first one's going to be 29. That hits. The second one will be 22. That hits. And the third one will be 31. All right. That sounds like they'll hit. Probably. 27. 27, and he gets to make one con save with a minus 11. Actually, he's going to pass that, I think. Oh, he's gonna burn a legendary. Yes, he is. All right, well then you can make another one on the second punch. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if I roll out of it. Nineteen minus eleven is eight. Eight plus six is fourteen. Fourteen. So no, 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 so that's another burn. Okay, and then you can make one more for me. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, does it still have the same modifier? No, no it's, it's just the, the next. Okay, so, so twenty-four. All right, so he rolls out of the third one. But all the resurrections. He's just, he got four. He's got three. He's and he used two. two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one more. Um, and then I would like to begin the vibrations of a quivering palm. Okay. So it does it's not to... an action or anything. Okay, so... he It's when I execute it that he has to make the save, not yeah. when he uh, not when it's put on him. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, so uh, he so, yeah. basically shakes himself awake after so, being stabbed. I think Elias is going to, like, stab him in the stomach and then, like, pop off a bunch of the scales and then stab him in the chest. And then, like, place his hand on the back of the knife and just force the, the vibrations into him right over the old aorta. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so... <laughs> he's, uh, so, I mean, he looks bad, right? Time for retaliation, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, there are three of you. Okay, so I want, first and foremost, everyone to make me a deck saving throw. Is this a spell? Is this a spell? It is an ability. Okay. Which I think you might get out of. 21. 20. 27. Okay. So uh, roll me 20 d6s. 20 d6s? Yeah. This and then is... it's going to be half for anyone who succeeded. And I have a vision so I get out of it completely. Okay, cool. Fast, cool. Yeah. Oh, not this again. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I'm also good. I, I, get, I hit one too many last time, so I have to tap. I get 20 d6s. See you in hell. Hugs. <laughs> Hugs is dead. I succeeded, I think, 77. What's half of 77? 38. 38. So you'll take 38 damage as from internally his body erupts into like a multicolored fire. Uh, For the record, I would try to grab pugs, but I know I wasn't fast enough. So yeah, you, you aim to grab pugs, but realize that the explosion came a little too fast yeah, as yeah. you jumped out of the way. And then... Uh, so the two of you who jumped out of the way, uh, no, it'll just be pugs then. Cause <laughs> you guys moved out of the way. Sorry, friend. That's a net 20. Is this a spell? Uh, no, these are attacks. Oh, well on the net 20, I'd like to use my last point of lucky to force him to reroll that. 
25. That'll hit, but it's not a crit. And then the other one will hit at a 23. So 35. Jeez. Uh, so what's going to happen is basically after his, uh, like, he erupts into this fire, you're going to see, like, from his hand are, like, long fire whips. Uh, and then he lashes both of them out at you. And then you see as his, like, growing out of his back are, like, burning fire wings. Hmm. And then I believe it is Pugs' turn. He's ascended. Okay. No. So I'm still like pretty close to him, right? Yeah, yeah, relatively. Okay. Um, Ten feet closer than the other two because I didn't want to move you too far. Yeah. Um, for my bonus action, not yet. Um, <clears throat> well, am I allowed to, if I have an ability that's specifically bonus action, can I use my action to, to do it if I'm like giving up that? Part of my turn or not? I don't know the rules, but yes. Okay. So bonus action, I'd like to cast Misty Step and get 30 feet away from him. Okay. And then run an additional 30 feet. So you'll run all the way down the pyramid. Yeah. Well, maybe not like all the way down. I need to stay within about Lay down on the him. stairs. Yeah, lay down. Cover. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So you hide on the stairs. Got it. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, use my Unsettling Words ability again. Okay. So what did he have to make? It's no save. It just uses a, a part of my Bardic Inspiration. Oh. And then oh, I that's will... right, because you're giving me a minus. Oh, two. minus two. I mean, it's better than nothing. Though. That's true. Sometimes minus two is the difference between a hit and a yeah. fail, though. So I'm like, that was a, uh, that's kind of cool, but you still suck. <laughs> and then at the end of his, uh, your turn, a legendary action takes place. Oh. And back on you. <laughs> I'm like 50 feet away. Like stink on shit, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, make me a deck save. Is this a spell? Uh, this is a fire breath. Does oh, that count as a spell? No. I bet you wish you took invasion. 13. I have an ability because I'm a rabbit, though. <laughs> Actually, That's good. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. 17. 17? So it's not enough. Oh. Uh, but And so you'll take... So you'll take 17 damage as he breathes fire down. So yes, uh, Elias, you were right. Uh, he takes off immediately yeah, yeah. into the air and just hurls fire down onto... Uh, Pugs. Um, now he's in the air. Now it is Gnarl's turn. Mm. He's high up there, isn't he? He's, uh, he's probably about like 20 feet off the ground. I'll be back, and I'm going to go use my hide action and hide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you can hide. Go ahead. Oh, that one. Uh, 28. 28? Well, the fun is that on the end of... So yes, you can hide successfully. Do you have anything else to do? Um, no. I'll hide in the raptors. So basically, what you see is like you go to hide, and at the end of your turn, he, he will shoot his eyes over at you uh, using detect to find you, uh, and then basically lock onto you. Um, Shit. Elias, your turn. Okay, so I need to hit him with my fist, is like the problem here. I could try that, but it's not going to like do a whole lot if it fails. I guess it's better than nothing. He's right? got a minus two. So I will, um, yeah, I will. Snap my fingers to execute my quivering palm. So uh, he makes a con <laughs> save, which he's fairly good at. Minus two, though, from Pugs' is a little thing. So it's going to be a 21. Yeah, so... Okay. I would like to use my reaction to cast Silvery Barbs and force him to re-roll that. Okay. 18. Still no. Is that with the minus two? That's with the minus two. Yeah. Oh. So uh, he takes 10 d10s of necrotic damage. Because <laughs> the other one just kills him instantly, so... Yeah. Our uh, mass dice roller, please. Yep. Working on it. <laughs> 10 d10s. Yeah. 59. 59. Let's go. Okay. So, yeah. So, again, visibly, like, you you can see, like, now the hole that you've made in his chest, like, you see, like, spurts of blood start coming out. Right. As, as you continue to, like, pepper him with damage. So, yeah, I'll just kind of, like, snap and then have his heart, I yeah, guess, not explode, but definitely, like, hemorrhage. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's, like, hemorrhaging, it right? Grew three like, sizes. That's how I imagine. <laughs> yeah. He grinched it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For the other two, you just see Elias's eyes like light up as he focuses, and he just like, and then uh, he'll be like, "That's all I got from a distance, really." So come this way, I can help you. And then I will, I guess, move over to Bucks because, okay. and then I'll go prone because stairs. Good. So yeah, so you'll go prone there at the end of your turn. I'll, like, dive to the floor and be like, "Hey, Bucks." <laughs> Gnarl, uh, at the end of his turn, does a twenty-three hit you? Yeah. Maybe a strength you. saving throw. Dex. Strength. Strength. Oh, the fingers. It's like you're just erasing your score. Like, I have no hope. <laughs> 11. All right. So you're going to take 15 damage. I have no and hope. <laughs> you're going to be caught in his whip, and you're going to be pulled straight to him. By the throat. 
So now you are in his grasp. Uh, let go of me. 20 feet up. Uh, so <laughs> he's grappled? Yeah, he's grappled. Okay, and fine. it's his turn. So. Oh, shit. Time to dive bomb you. <laughs> he's going to fucking Mortal Kombat your shit. <laughs> so do me a favor, and you're going to make a dex uh, saving throw with disadvantage. I rolled a two on a disadvantage. So, yes. 18 on the advantage. You, while being gripped basically by the shirt by him, are dive bomb straight into the ground. No, wait, 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 wait. Um, Does he primary lotus him into the ground? Yeah, kind of. Except <laughs> I, I like to think of it more like fallen angel of him, where you like choked him in the throat and then like drive uh, him into the ground. Kind of like Caillou that does. In this is a dex, like, right? Slams you this is a 12 total. What? This is a dex, right? Yeah. 12 total. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so 23 damage. I like half that. Nice. 11. 11. Yeah, run down. You managed to squirm just yeah, a little. You, you could turn your body to like impact better Ugh. as you slam onto the ground. I grab onto his like thigh and like, no! Oh! And now for the multi-attack. Oh, bro. It's about an Omni-Man, your shit. <laughs> uh, 25? And 17. Well, I'll use my reaction to <laughs> dodge the first one by half the damaging it. So 25. So that's... No, no, that's the hit, bud. Oh, yeah. Well, that one so hit. They, they both, both hit, hit. Yeah. So they both hit. So 19 on the first one. Do you think the second one will be higher, or do you half that one? I might half the first one. All right. Okay. So that's so, nine. Uh, 16. Oh, cool. I picked the right one. Uh, You're going to have a hole in your paper from where the health is. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just keeps getting deeper. There's not a lot of material So, there. yeah. So you were crashed into the ground. What you guys see is him, like, fly straight into the ground, and then... The first, like, whip retracts to be almost like a dagger, like a flame dagger in his hand as he rakes it across uh, Gnarl, and then the second uh. one, he just takes his fist and, like, dra uh, drives it into his stomach, uh, leaving him on the ground. That would make oh. it... Uh, I've seen better from him. Hugs <laughs> his turn. All right, so he's back on the ground then. So he's like, so how are you going to help me? Well, he's back on the ground, so... I mean, he's... Okay. He's going to take <laughs> off again, unless you can yeah. just kill him. Go, Pugs, go. <laughs> I I can try. How how weak does he look? Like is he like I've I think I've described him well enough at this is point. He, is, so he's like knocking on is he knock he's not knocking on death's door yet. I'm though. not going to give you any more information. Oh. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I know, you're I know you're going has... to say I'm going mm -hmm. to describe him again. He's got a hole in his chest that is bleeding pretty profusely. Uh his he can't really see. Uh, he's got like several slashes that aren't healing on his body. This is of note, though, that you can see now that he's like on the ground again. That his stomach is restitching slowly. Oh, can I? I'm going to use my unsettling words to be like, "Hey, Dumbo, look over here." <laughs> All right, your shit talk needs some work, man. I know. <laughs> he's like a. So that's a five. So a he'll reduce the next the save government. by a five, and then I want to cast six level disintegrate on him. And target like the wings. Like I'm trying to basically just cut the wings off of him. Sure. Yeah, that's cool. So I... deck save, please. Minus five. Deck save. I think he's just gonna pass. I don't. Actually, I get to roll first. So. <laughs> yeah, I say you should roll first. Twenty. Is that with the minus five? Oh, fifteen. So yeah, uh, that fails. He's gonna pass. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> Did it, boys? <laughs> yeah. Seventy-one half to thirty-five. So, because I don't want to take it from you, uh, you can cut a wing. How's that sound? Okay. Basically, you half like, is flying. Yeah, you 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 blow and I shouldn't even say cut. You basically <laughs> blow like a hole in one of the wings, uh, making it just like far less effective. Okay. Anything else for your turn? No, I'll just kind of try to stay within sixty-ish feet because that used my action and bonus action. So. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll look at Eliza and go, I can do that. So his legendary action for the turn. Oh, no. Um, do what? Oh, I heard, I heard Naro talk. Does that mean Naro wants to get hit again? Oh, I heard him say, oh, no. And I went, mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was close to talking. It sounds like you're going to get hit. No. Um, <laughs> so bursting out from a, about a 10-foot uh, radius from him is fire uh, now swirling around him. Uh, so everything that ends a turn inside that fire has to take fire damage. Yes, I'm looking at you, Narl, because you are currently the only one in there. We're all in this. Yeah. <laughs> it's only if you end your turn in there, though. So yeah. like, if you get up and get out, then... Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll be okay as long as you uh, leave. Uh, <laughs> uh, that means it's Narl's turn. Well, the only thing I can do is leave. <laughs> um, so he's a size larger than me, so grappling him won't really do much. Um... So Burn these, with his own fire. Yeah. So these wings are fire, right? Yes. Mmm, I take out my water canteen. 
Yeah. Uh huh. That's kind of like goblin juice too, because <laughs> I put the powder in there. Oh boy, does goblin juice get to be the hero of the world? <laughs> yeah, mm, I wonder this will put it out or make it worse. And I like, I guess, squeeze out all the liquid <laughs> out of his wing. <laughs> like, all right, get this. Okay, so yeah, you squeeze the liquid onto his wing, and then you realize it's magic fire, so it's not going to be this put is out. This goblin juice. <laughs> it's got me the worst. <laughs> Oh, but if it's goblin juice, it's going to take some damage. I told you, it's poisonous to dragons. <laughs> and it did have that metallic water from the... <laughs> the water. Weird. Yeah, weird water from that Is river. Is goblin juice alcoholic? Yeah. It's not just going to backfire on you? Yeah. No, it's, it, I don't know. You have to have a fire. pretty high proof to... Yeah. <laughs> that was double strength. All right. And... Um, Check, please. Dive. Check, please. <laughs> uh, you might want to clean it off. It stains... And uh, I'm, I'll go get you a towel. I'm gonna walk off. Okay, you disengage. Think it's oh, do you just engage. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, and then book it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, are you going to run down? Where, where are you running to? Uh, probably my allies. Oh, so yeah, so Nara will come and join you guys as you lay like right there. Yeah, um, we got this boy. I'm hiding behind him. <laughs> well, uh, it's his legendary action then. Oh. So he's gonna take off. We were all together. When we're all in this together, he takes off and then. To gnarl, he gets a 27. What's he doing? Uh, he's about to whip him. Uh, yes, 27 hits. Good. Um, not for you, but good. Uh, so make me a strength save. I'm about to die. Get over here. I'm going to use this dice. <sighs> Bad dice. A one. A one. So Not natural. Unnatural. So unnatural. You're going to take 12 damage. Cool. I'm at 11, so I'm at negative one. Okay, so you're going to go unconscious oh. and hold straight into the fire uh, with him as he now is again gripping you. Uh, I'm not going to. You blew a hole in his wing, so it's not 20 feet up anymore. It's going to be half that, so 10. Uh, <laughs> next, it'd be Elias' turn. Then. All right, 10 I can do. So I'm going <laughs> to. You're good. Um, I can reach 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> so seeing Gnarl's in trouble. Um, he's going to go, okay, I'm going to try and bring him down to our level, mm -hmm. and you're going to try and help Gnarl. <laughs> Got it? Got it. Teamwork. Let's go. Fist bump him, and then I'm going to cast uh, Step of the Wind to okay. give myself that doubled jumping distance, which mm -hmm. will let me reach his 10-foot height. Okay. And then I will leap, and I will uh, sort of like uh, sort of like an omni-slash, I guess. I'm just going to hit him in the air for three. I got my Fury of Blow, so four. So basically, you're going you're gonna to go in the air and just start striking I'm going to do the uh, that Rock Lee thing, where he like kicks him, and then kicks him again, and uh -huh. then he just kicks him into the ground. Okay, cool. I like uh, it. So I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. Uh, it'll be four total times. Okay. Two regular punches, two Fury of Blows. Shaw. Right, so the three, I don't, the 14 probably misses. That misses. Uh, but the others are 23. 23 hits, yeah. Sorry. Uh, 30. That hits. And 26, or 28. No, that doesn't hit, of course not. <laughs> You're good. You got three hits. Okay, so I need him. The reason I did this is to make a deck save. 19. Oh, I need to make another deck save. <laughs> 18 uh, Ain't that something Ain't that something Want more? No, no uh, That's only on the flurry of blows punches Oh, okay uh, give me your D10. What I was trying to do was knock him prone But I guess on that last one He can make a con save <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22 Yeah, he's, uh, he ain't going down 17 21 uh, plus 15 is 30, 53. 53? Sheesh. All right. And I want to make sure I'm tracking this right. Uh, your fists count as magical, right? Yeah, my fist and any monk weapons I yep. use. Okay. Well, the knife counts as magical all the time, but... Right, right. well, I meant, like, because you said I you use, like, a quarter yeah. staff, then it would also count. But, yeah, my fists are magical. Good, okay. Then I'm... I am, so I'm, I'm going to, like, leap and just, like, combo him. So basically, I'd like to leap, slice him with the knife, and then kind of like land on his back and just like wail on the back of his head twice. <laughs> so yeah, you you like catch on to him as you're like trying to beat him down to the ground. And I think for fun, I'm gonna make sure it's not some kind of action before I just do this repeatedly. Sure. Yeah. For fun, I'm gonna add those vibrations back. Okay. Cool. And then I'm gonna fall, and when I land near Gnarl, I'm gonna be I'm almost out of uh, energy here. <laughs> yeah, you mean not uh, pugs? I'm still in yeah, this yeah. whip. So yeah, so yeah, you you could restart the quiver. Uh, anything else for your turn? 
No, I, I've done about all I can do. Okay. Um, I need both of you to make me a deck save. Oh, no. I have the benefit of being dead. 30. 30. Well, that's a fan. Is this a spell? This is a fire breath. Oh. 17 plus 4 is 21. Ooh, good job. You succeeded. Hey. You succeeded on the nose. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit Hop. Or... So 17, which is half for anyone that succeeded, or fully if you evade. Yeah, I'm evaded. So half of 17 will be 8. Take second damage. I'd rather not. We're thinking. <laughs> be careful what you say, Naro. Uh, I don't <laughs> think right now. And then it'll be his turn. Minor. Uh, it'll be Sars' turn. Oh. So, Sars will... Hurl Gnarl for attack one at <laughs> Elias, I think. Okay. I'm a projectile. <laughs> uh, uh, 15. No. All right, so <laughs> Gnarl is thrown. <laughs> Could I, for flavor, catch him? Like, just to stop him Can't from Can't you colliding? stop uh, projectiles and catch him? me. Oh, does that hit you? <laughs> Let okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, sure, you can catch him. Oh, no, I'll, you know what? I'll allow him to hit me and then throw him negate back. the damage. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> That works. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, Gnarl is hurled at you guys. So, I'd like to just, like, hold my head out and, like, catch his shirt and then just, like, slow his momentum. I have to imagine as a ragdoll myself just flinging through the wind. I'll be like, you're all right, buddy. You're not going to be like your dad. Head and then I'm going to lay him down <laughs> next to Pugs and be like, you should do something about that. I can do that or I can try to kill him. Um, well, we got two more attacks to go through. If I'm still alive. <laughs> so, we'll go one to you, one to you, because it's two webs. Do it, dad. Uh... Sorry, Pugs. 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 20, like 25. Let me check something real quick. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just roll these while I wait. I'm going to use silvery barbs on that. Can he re-roll that, please? Sure. For a neck. Great. Natural 20. So 22. Yeah, that'll still hit. Sorry. Do it again. Do it again. One more time. <laughs> I. You must have a fucking like angel watching over you. Hey, hey that's a three. three four, five. So six. Six total. Hey, we still alive. <laughs> so yeah. Still oh, wait, but you still have to make that strength throw. Uh, so oh, maybe not anymore. <laughs> My body is no longer blocking that whip. Natural 20. Hey. Minus one is 19. That was a cool roll. Roll. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> so, whip rips around you and pulls you straight in. So, now you're in his grasp. Um, and then the second whip is going to Elias. So, 21. Yeah. Luckily, you don't have to make it because he already got someone. 17. It's the first damage I've taken this way. Wow, well, must Lucky. be nice. Oh, my <laughs> God. I've taken plenty at the beginning of the session. Yeah. Did you? I don't remember that. Uh, yeah. I, I, I vaguely remember cutting it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, <laughs> you are now crack. So, yeah, another another crack of the whip hits Elias, uh, and now your friend Pugs is caught in his grasp. Uh, Pugs, it's your turn. So he's grappled as in the condition, right? Yeah. He is currently grappled. It and doesn't stop you from speaking. I know. If you want to try it. Yeah. Also, remember, if you end your turn in this era, you also area, you take damage. Correct. Yeah. Well, I guess it's now or never, because if, if he dies, then there's no more fire. <laughs> you got phase two. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> so being like in his grasp, Pugs is going to muster like all of the energy that he possibly can and look at SARS and say, hey, over here. And, he, next and, and if he turn, if he, when, he, when he turns to me, I'm like, why don't you make like a good dragon and just Die, and I'm going to cast Power Word Kill on him. Okay. So you look at him, and you say, like a good dragon, you should die. And almost like his heart had stopped, his like eyes go wide, and you see the, like, the fire on his back, or the flames on his back start to like flicker and like die out as you and him drop yeah. to the ground. Uh, so now I love what you said because it just makes this even funnier. <laughs> Because uh, he has a death on death thing that happens. Oh. So, phase two. Dex save, but you're in the air with him. So, with disadvantage. That's and then fair. you so, as well as Elias. 
A question for you, good sir. Yeah, what's up? So in his body, in his fleeting soul, I have my energy. So instead of a blowing up of his heart, could I... I'm not going to stop this effect, I assume, but could I weaken it to help Pug survive? Like, detonate my quivering palm to try and weaken whatever is about to happen. Sure, yeah. That can uh, Really, happen. I'm just trying to assist Pugs. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So Pugs, you can draw normally. Okay. Oh, holy. Uh, 13. 13. 21, sorry. 13. Failure. Success. Uh, 20 D6s. Here we go again. Uh, you've succeeded, so I... Well, and so okay, Elias okay. dives out of the way. So as the body crashes with Pugs and uh, SARS into the ground. You watch as his body basically, like, between all the scales start to light up mm -hmm. uh, multicolored again, and then erupts. Yeah, so I have 12 HP left, so okay, well, I'm just unconscious. Well, you gotta roll. Yeah, you gotta, gotta roll. Because negative you, enough, oh. you'll die. <laughs> yeah, this will, this will be your unfortunate end. And, uh, Naro, You're you are safe because you were put down on the stairs. Yay. 77. Oh, you're good. 77. So, so, so yeah, take so, me to negative 65. So, yeah, as long as it doesn't max you, you're fine. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the rule. Uh, but, yeah, so you so yeah, you watch as another colorful explosion goes off, destroying, like, the upper half of the pyramid as your friend Pugs is <laughs> ignited and, yeah, and shot out like a fucking star <laughs> as he, like, collapses, like, hits to the bottom of the uh, pyramid. Uh, <laughs> and then all goes quiet in the tomb. Just hear like some sizzling in the corner, and you smell some like delicious cooked rabbit. <laughs> Why is it smelling burnt hair? So I'm gonna go get pugs. Okay, so yeah, you can retrieve the smoldering cor uh, not well, the corpse. Well, I'm gonna try to help him. Yeah, yeah. The corpse, uh, fifteen, but I think it's ten is what you're shooting for, probably. So, because it's just to stabilize him. So yeah, pugs is stabilized. Make me a death roll. Um, no, seventeen. <laughs> five plus. Uh, wait, was it no plus? It's five. Yeah, it's just five. So death save. Or so I'm gonna death. like run up to to pugs and be like, "Nice, dude, nice." And I'll be like, "You're kind of," and I'll get like some ointment and just like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pick him up. Well, he's big actually. I won't pick him I, up. I'll be like, "You stay here. I'll lean him against the wall." If bring Narl closer. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to Narl. So am I conscious? Yeah, you can be conscious. Well, he's over there. Can I? I'll cast an eighth level heal on myself. Yeah, yeah, you can and do heal that. for ninety. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All the burns go away. the same with Gnarl. Okay, you're going to try to stabilize him? Uh, 20? Or yep. no, 18? Yeah, that works. And then I'll carry him over <sighs> to, to Pugs. I'm like, you're good, buddy. Where's that bastard? Your dad will be proud. I killed him. Or is it the bastard? I'm going to go to Sar's body now. Sar's body, which is a smoldering end. Skeleton, I assume. <laughs> All his scales, like, blown off. So he, looks like, he looks like a, uh, like a reptil uh, reptilian. I'm going to look down at him. Like, I won the third round. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is there anything of note here? Or just dead body? No, uh, dead body. Uh, I mean, you want to loot, like, the gold that he keeps because he's a dragon? I assumed it was disintegrated. No, I mean, no, the throne was. You can't have the throne. Do you want the throne? Because you can't no, have no. it. <laughs> I do shrink it. In the name of finishing the mission, I'm going to take this special dragon slayer knife and just, like, drive it into his head for good measure. Okay, yeah. Just to make sure that there's... Because, well, he regenerates, so you got to be sure. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. So, yeah, you drive it into the cold, lifeless corpse of SARS and pull uh, pull it back out, and then you realize that it doesn't look like the magic of the knife is working anymore, probably indicating that he is very, very dead. That's okay. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just informing you. Yeah. So he's, like, half welded to the floor, so I'm just going to, like... All right, well... I, we won, guys. I'm going to go over to my team. Yeah. And most of us were unharmed. Do we? Do we do it? <laughs> we did. I did it. By the way, you want me to resurrect your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Give me tomorrow. I can bring your dad back. Too late. You should have done it sooner. <laughs> yes. I couldn't do it yesterday. Like Now I just feel great. I got that confidence back. You gonna resurrect That's on my too? list, too. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you wait? <laughs> All right, boys. We should leave. We should. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this season, tell us about it in a comment on literally any platform. You can follow us on X. You can give us likes and uh, what's that other thing? You can give us five stars on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And you can subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can 
follow us everywhere <laughs> in order to stay up to date when we release our next season and the bonus episode. And as always, thank you for listening. <laughs> I just want to be white static. having finally completed his first real mission, returned home to his monastery, ready to show his dad of his accomplishments. However, the monk life became boring to him, and he realized that all this religious zealotry is just going to continue to cause problems, and that there's no peace in either side. So, joining up with his mom, they decided to travel the world in seeking true inner peace. Pugs, after bringing Narl's parents back and visiting the monastery with Elias, will return home to the charred remnants of his house, um, then using his newfound power that he's acquired over the journeys with his friends, bring his wife back, and they will continue on. Pugs will enter into a life of entertainment and just and legal ways of making money and start the family that he always dreamed of and lived happily ever after. It's Roger. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> um, Gnarl, after finally finding his parents a lot. Character, dipshit. Uh, Gnarl. Wait. Third person. Yeah, um, character, third person. Okay. Uh, I just do the voice the whole time. Yes. Gnarl, after finally finding his parents, thanks to Pugs's. Amazing power of wish that he wished he had. Decided to go back to with his parents to find the rest of his family he set out for. His original reason for being a pirate. And he had finally found them. They were actually in the other town over. But the parents knew that, so that's good. Naro decided to go about opening up his own tavern and producing his own goblin juice. Everything else he tasted wasn't as good as his mom's, so he stole her recipe. As led to the Goblin Inn. Well, they also have a lot of mental help there that quite needs to be established in this country. Why don't you make like a good dragon and just Why don't you make like a good dragon and just <laughs>